Hey guys, Mr. Jeff here, and I have exciting news for you. I have decided to start a music maker store in downtown where I live. Let me give you the pitch. I'm gonna buy some storefront space, just a little storefront on our downtown strip, and out of it, I'm gonna sell a few things. One, custom musical instruments. Oh man, this is where my passion is. The last 10 years, 15 years, maybe further than that, basically the idea to make a handmade instrument and not necessarily like a guitar or an oboe or something like that but almost a custom instrument back when I lived in Chicago we had a guy <coughs> excuse me who wanted to commission me to make an instrument for him and I don't know what he called it but I called it a tumble box and basically it was this box ish I think maybe it was um, Let's see, probably a hexagon, kind of like a cylinder that was a hexagon instead of a cylinder, made from wood, and inside of it were these music, music making devices. On one side there was a spring on the inside that was kind of like a reverb coil, on another side maybe there's snares like a snare drum, um, and basically the idea was you could hold this thing, you could bang on it, and if you banged on different sides it would make different noise and maybe at one point you could even just kind of tumble it around, roll it around on the, on the floor. This was the vision he had. I thought it was cool. And all of that <clears throat> could be mic'd up. You could plug a guitar cable into it, plug it up to an amp and get, get, uh, get sound out of it. So something like that, basically a custom instrument, a made up, one off, unique, noise making, sound making, music making device. That's what he wanted. We ended up never making it. It was basically my fault that it fell through. <clears throat> but hey, follow through is the food of champions. And here we are 15 years later, and I'm still looking to make it happen. I have a small instrument concept I've been working on for, again, 10 years <clears throat> that I definitely like to finish and sell in the store. But here's the thing. Some of my more complicated instruments, apparently I've struggled to finish. So my plan is this, three instruments simple instruments something that's achievable within my lifetime <clears throat> I make these three prototype instruments and <clears throat> at that point I'm ready to open the storefront I have a small enough selection of things that I can sell so number one you come in the store there's these oddball unique one-off handcrafted utilizing analog sound making technologies <clears throat> and maybe a little electronics, maybe a little digital in there too. You come in, you can play with these things, they make music, they make noise, you can buy them. Two, it's a space for small scale fabrication equipment. 3D printers, laser cutters, maybe small CNC tabletop mill sort of thing. <clears throat> and the vision there is one, I need these things to be able to make more instruments. Two, if you come in, poke your head in and stop by, you can check them out. I mean, they're cool to see work. A laser cutter, a 3D printer, a tabletop CNC mill. Watching these robotic building machines work is cool. It's fun. So someone could come in, they could check them out. <clears throat> Three, you can use these live prototyping um, fabrication machines to get a little custom trinket while you're there. Um, I don't have the exact ideas for these spelled out, so this idea sounds dumb, but you get the idea, like a key ring that has your name on it, a custom phrase, something like that. We could cut out of acrylic sheet with the laser cutter right there. I can, you know, design it on the computer, send it over to the laser cutter, cut it in 20 seconds. We give it to you, ship, ship it off, you can get a custom logo, anything like that. So there's some draw to bring people in, <clears throat> and then um, they could buy something there, something that's um, achievable, affordable. Because these instruments, I'm picturing a couple hundred dollars, you know, kind of in that range. Maybe the cheap one's a hundred dollars, um, but they're not fifteen dollar knickknacks. But if you want something more approachable, a fifteen dollar knickknack, we can make you one, and it's custom um, for you or your company or your logo or your name or something funny, this and that. Four, I think we're on. <clears throat> I want it to be a hub for makers, um, like a makerspace. Makerspace everywhere I've lived: Chicago, California, now Ohio, Cincinnati. Um, 
I've been a part of these maker spaces. You go in, you have access to the, this machinery, you have um, community, you have instruction, all these sorts of things. I want it to be a place where people can come and learn these machines. Now obviously it's smaller scale than a large scale maker space, but it's also more approachable because it's, because it's downtown. <clears throat> and then finally a community space, a place to play music, to make music, for mu musicians to come, come together, to have jam sessions, to if you want to come in, pick up one of my custom made instruments, play a little jingle jam, jingle pedal that goes ding boom, dong bing dong, dong bing dong, dong bing dong. You're playing that thing. I get out my guitar, ba da ba doom cha da cha doom ba da cha doom cha da doom cha da. And hey, we're jamming. People are hearing it. They're noticing. They're coming by. That's the vision. This is day one. Maybe it's a two-year plan. I don't know yet. We're early on. That's why I'm making a video. Thanks for checking it out. The Music Maker Store by Mr. Jeff. Peace.